If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. I think this is the main content today uh, for the most part. I could have done the reviews for some of the other defenders and stuff, but I like to sometimes, you know what I'm saying? um from this game uh guys today we have a new pundit picks uh or pundit picks D they usually release like really trash cards for these like they're really trash you have to wait for an evolution like gordon and stuff like they're not gordon's not trash but it's not a card you're going to use for a long period of time even with the evolution right newcastle fans for sure but this depaul card they actually gave him some like significant upgrades that could make him like a good spc right uh because there's a lot of links to work with with him, right? So one is Correa. If you did the evolutions during that time period, he has a five-star weak foot. If you if you plan on doing like further evolutions even uh, with that card, that's going to be a triple link setup just by itself. If Molina gets a card in the future, you get the link to Molina, who's a triple link setup. If you have Lorente in your team, that's an Atletico Madrid. Like there's so many different things you can work with as of right now, right? So with the Paul guys, this card, he is formatted to be used in, I would say mainly in a way where you use them as a stay back while attacking cover center player, mainly, right? Not to say that you can't use them on the attack because you definitely can, right? But with his dribbling, his dribbling's in the mid 80s area and his shooting is actually in a decent area too. So shadow chemistry style is gonna put his acceleration sprint speed at a 98, 90, uh, uh, excuse me, at a 94, 90, right? So that's where I want to stay back cover center more because that transition coming back, you have to rely on the defensive work rates, which to be fair, it'd still be per perfectly fine, right? But shooting is in a good area, right? Passing is in a fantastic area. Dribbling is also in a good area. This isn't like your typical pundit picks. Like, like I said, most of the times they release these types of SBCs, they're not that good. They're just like promo cards. Like, you know what I'm saying? You guys get what I'm saying when I say promo cards, right? Like they're just promo cards. It's like, it's just EA, oh, here you go. You know what I'm saying? But with this card, it actually looks like a decent card to use in the current meta of the gameplay. But um, play style is obviously going to be important. He has Relentless Plus, which honestly is pretty good to work with. Incisive Pass, Long Ball Pass, Bruiser, Technical, and Press Proven. To be fair, very good play styles for that center mid role. I actually don't mind that whatsoever. So good stuff there. Um, the thing that is low, I would say, like from base characteristics, is defensive awareness a little bit. But his physical stats is also in a pretty good spot too. So this actually looks like an interesting SBC for the pundit picks because normally they're kind of like super whatever, right? But we'll see how he performs in game. I think the best way for us to try him out is eh, probably in like a 4-3-2-1. It's always the 4-3-2-1, you know, with these types of players. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and unlock him and I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, so the SBC price is a little bit up there. It's a little bit up there, but we'll see how he plays in game. He could be pretty good. Like I said, I, I, like comparison to other pundit picks, you know, um, when we do the introduction, a, a lot of the times we don't see the price. So sometimes I go and I'm like, oh, this car looks really cool. A million coins. <laughs> uh, okay, so because this is a midfielder review, the best way to try him out is a 4-1-3-2. So we play him right down the middle and we just go from there. Yeah. Uh, instructions is just cover center. So we can test him out on the attack and defense. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, and of course it's not a finish. It's a nice cross though. Ah, oh, I'll take the green. I like it. That's the green, but way too far for that to work out. Oh, man. I didn't expect him to stop when I was going to take the strike. Oh man, I like it. Technical though was uh was good to work with there. Oh, 
Too much power, man. I couldn't get the red. The constant movements there were nice, though, to help out with the general buildup, pushing forward. That's a skill move. You get past. Tackle and stuff. Oh man, he actually gets a the reach in there too. I like it. War a nerf by you, EA. Body to body, good stuff. Oh, he gets a touch. And we're good. And we also score. Good stuff. Nice, good stuff. Well done, well done. Ah, it's nice there, but you know, you don't want to mention. I, I, I think like a little bit of extra pace would have been nice. Like that's uh, that's like the thing because he's not. If you're like 90s, like low 90s, like that, and you're a lengthy, it's not really that big of a deal. But when you're a regular. You have to use these cards in like four one two and twos, four three two ones. Um, don't tell me I scored that one too. I was about to say. Oh, the air doesn't get it for me. See, just moments like that, right? Like, if you have players that are a little bit faster, it's it's helpful for, like, those more open spots, right? So, his dribbling, by the way, is look at the animations on the left stick. It's way better than I thought it was going to be. And, um... It's it's really good that it is, to be fair. See? Way better than I thought. A little bit of sway there, though. A little bit of sway. Look, see? Maybe a roulette? Nice. Yeah, because you know what it is, bro? Like, sometimes, like, when I look at the body type and, like, it's in the mid-80s, like, they don't, sh they don't really take sharp touches like that, right? And he is actually doing that for me, which is really cool. Thank goodness to get that slide challenge in there. That's a big meta thing, by the way, is when you make the pass and you take the first touch in the opposite direction, it works out. Oh, 
Well, waited law pass, L1. So look at the dribbling, right? The left stick dribbling on him is actually very, very nice. Look at this. You see? Look at this. It's just left stick. Look at my controller. It's actually really crazy for him. Imagine, get the Trivella right afterwards. <laughs> the rattiness. Oh, no reach on that. So I guess with him, it's probably it's probably like a combination of dribbling stats being in a good area and then also having press proven, maybe, you know, it, it's hard to say. But I mean, at the end of the day, he does have it, right? So. Oh, what a pass by DePaul. See, even regular lob ball pass, long ball pass was is going to be helpful. Comes close for the support. Look at this dribbling, man. Look at this. Then you go into the technical as well, like left stick. That's that's the that cool thing with him, right? It's the it's the technical to work with the left stick actually being good. So his dribbling is just solid, which doesn't happen often for average body type players. Look, so left stick, left stick, left stick, L1, left stick. You go in a full circle, technical. And you just you just work the space that way. That worked out. Oh, he almost gets it AI wise. Unlucky. No. War law pass. Ah. All right, sounds good. Oh, nice try. Oh, empty net. Oh, I was gonna go for like a bicycle kick there. I like it. It's interesting, EA. So you have the capability of making the left stick of this of these cards. I have to green time everything in this game. Uh, a high percentage is out on white. You still can't score. You you do this on this card again. Unique situation where mid 80s for dribbling, average body type. But I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the play styles or something that makes his left stick actually pretty solid. The only thing that I noticed from time to time with him. Oh, I couldn't get the green on it. The only noticeable thing that I noticed on the uh, on the card is that sometimes he gets kind of like um, like sometimes he gets like pushed off. It's like he has low composure, like an eighty one or something. Um, but he obviously doesn't. But I do notice that being weird sometimes on the card, right? When he's like, un it's like under pressure defending, right? Nice. Good finish. Unlucky. Oh, I think his player literally just screwed him there. Let me see. Uh, yeah, he slid. I don't. I maybe the goalie saves it. Hard to say. Oh, 
Very nice. Which did. Passes are really nice. Like the lob passes come off nice. The the regular passes come off well weighted. And that's where it ends with possession lost. Nicole. See that part right there when he got fouled? Like just it, it sometimes it like makes him loose in those certain areas, right? Obviously he fouled me there too, so. But he, like I said, he has that like small thing to him sometimes, but like I don't care. His left stick is so much better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. A little skill move into a Trivella. Don't do the Trivella. That sounds good to me too, I guess. Nice. Technical out of space. Ball roll technical. And I can't get the shot off. But no. Oh, we're good. The whole defensive play. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Look at this dribbling. Look at this dribbling. Look at this dribbling. A little bit. Of, oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Look at that. And I don't get the green. But uh, that's a key thing, though, man, uh, when it comes to dribbling capabilities in game. Like, there are very, very few cards that will have dribbling stats or dribbling capabilities like this, even with those stats. But because he has the um, the play styles, I guess, that's what's uh, really making it nice, you know? Oh, nice try. Oh, by the way, his attacking AI as a center mid is really good. So if you use him as your attacking oriented center mid, he, he would actually be pretty solid in that area. Nice pass. I'll take that. I won't score that, yeah. A track back from the defense is way too crazy, but the law pass was really nice, though. Look at this left stick, man. Nobody moves like this, guys, with this body type and, and dribbling stats, I'm telling you. Look at this. Do you know how crazy that is? <laughs> Uh, hey, listen. I'm I'm all about gameplay commentator FC. I'm that's that card. This card would be added to my team just from that. I'm sorry. Like, you actually respond to my left stick. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't don't do long shots with them. I mean, you can score them, but or not. He's not special at them, right? Look at this, look at this. Oh, it just responds to everything. Yo, add more cards like this. How about that? Look, a little that. Bang. Fake him out a little bit. Go back in. The thing is, too, is that when you come off of the left stick, you can utilize the technical on the card, you know? <laughs> Imagine I score that. No way. Ah. Nice through pass. All right, I'll take it. Good stuff. works out for me 
dudes play styles this year they're i don't know they're such a big deal it, it's so hard to explain the thing is though man is that it's hard to say that his left stick actually works well in game because of just press proven like he just has a good left stick yo ea like you have an average body type like this that has drilling stats like that but you could still left stick like that how about you do that to more of your players this is like a very rare occurrence, guys. This doesn't happen often. That's why I looked at him and I was like, yeah, you got to use him in a more defensive way. Stay back, cover center. I mean, technically speaking, guys, with this card, you can use him in any way that you want in this in the um, in the midfield position. There's two things that in the current meta of the game, especially against like these top tier teams, that is going to be on the lower side in certain situations. And it's going to be like defensive awareness at an 83. And it's on, honestly going to be the sprint speed at a 90. The sprint speed, I don't mind as much at a 90. Because if you use them in like a 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, and 2, that sort of deal. Uh, a card like this is going to work with his play style relentless more than anything, right? The relentless plus. Because relentless plus, guys, when you're running with him, when you're doing the second man pressing... It greatly reduces the long-term fatigue effects on attributes, reaction time, uh, defensive awareness, reduces fatigue loss during play, and significantly increases fatigue recovery during halftime. So when you're using a card like this in the midfield, manually using him is not going to be ideal. But when you use the AI stuff, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those types of situations where they price the SBC up there a little bit for sure. But to be honest with you guys, this card actually performs well in game. Does he have as much potential as... Yasuo Kimmich in regards to future improvements? No, because this card can improve in the future depending on how well Byron does. If Byron improves even further, um, it'll definitely be really sick for this card. He has so much potential, it's insane uh, because his base mechanics are very good. Uh, but this DePaul card is actually nice, guys. And I'm going to tell you guys this right now, okay? Be very careful of this because they did the same thing to the Gordon card, right? So Gordon also got a Pundit pick. But this card, at some point in the game you could put into an evolution and turn him into a finisher, right? So what I'm thinking is that with DePaul, if they put him into an evolution, guys, and you can improve his stats even further, this is actually a good card because I'm telling you this right now, the left stick stuff, like, like I said, I was looking at him and I was like, ah, you know, blah, blah, blah on the defense, whatever. But it's because normally when you have an average body type and your height's like that, like your left stick is chalked most of the times right so you just have to be like a good midfielder offers you know physical presence all that kind of stuff but the play styles were very helpful bruiser is helpful to work with because he doesn't have high sprint speed so when you're tapping the x tapping the a button you're pushing pace out of the card right to go aggressive into the people technical very noticeably good on the card press proven i guess with his left stick under pressure he does really well too there's only this thing sometimes where he's sometimes loose and that's where like i thought he was going to be out on a consistent basis because of the 511 height average body type but i'm telling you guys a lot of the times you're not really going to care for it because he's actually very responsive to work with and his passing actually comes off very nicely so this card actually surprised me he's actually a pretty decent card in there sure it's priced up there but Honestly, if I needed a link to someone like Correa and I was going to rock like a 4-3-2-1, he would be very fun to use in the midfield setup, 100%. Like, he, he surprised me a lot, mainly because of the left stick and the dribbling stats being the way that it is, but it's a good all-round card. The only two things that are low is sprint speed when you're manually using it, and obviously defensive awareness in certain situations. But the rest of it, it actually performs pretty well in-game, in my opinion, so... And you guys know me, bro. I'm a gameplay compensator FC. Like, all of my players would have to be gameplay compensators, and he's definitely one of them. Like I said, it's it feels like a responsive card in game, and it's very surprising. I didn't expect that from him. So, yeah, in my opinion, he's pretty good. Doing this review kind of irritated me a little bit. I'm not going to lie, because it's like, oh, so you can make a card that is an average body type, even though his dribbling stats is not in the 90s. You can make his left stick actually good in game. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.